What's up folks, this is uh, Brian Latimer here. I just wanted to share with you guys an inbox question that I got over Facebook that I thought was so thought provoking that I wanted to share it with you here on YouTube. Uh, a guy, Rick Cornett, sent me a message asking me about a few finesse tactics. In particular, it was the drop shot, the net rig, and the neko rig, and which one works better for certain situations. Of course, those are three baits that are really, really, really popular right now. The, the Ned Rig is, is, is really kind of on a hot streak. The Neko Rig has been on a hot streak for a couple years. And the Drop Shot's been around for a while, for, for 20 years now. So um, <clears throat> just talk about the newest and the most popular first. The Ned Rig, awesome. I really discounted the Ned Rig before. Uh, but some of the things that I look for when, when I want to throw a net rig, typically I'm going to use a net rig 10 foot and shallower. Doesn't mean you won't catch fish on it deeper, doesn't mean you're going to catch fish on it shallower. Uh, but I, I tend to like it in very clear water and I like it when I'm fishing 10 foot or shallower. Now I have started to experiment with this bait here at home, fishing it vertical style and 30, 40, 50 foot of water and it does work and it does catch fish deeper however I think it does thrive in that shallower water column that 10 foot or less zone is where it typically works best for me um, and it's a great bait to throw on a do nothing bank a bank that has absolutely nothing on it just a sand smooth bottom is where I think the net rig really shines because it'll show you where there's fish that you don't really think that are there um, so that's where I like to throw a Ned Rig. It's great, great bait to throw in current. Anytime you've got rock or rip wrap or chunk rock, it's a great bait to throw around that because what it's going to do is mimic a crawdad. And anytime you've got any type of pebble rock or chunk rock, crawdad is typically going to be the four species that fish are feeding on because there, there's crevices in between those rocks and that's where a lot of the crustaceans and crawfish and so forth, that's where they inhabit it. So that's where they're going to be at. So that's what I look for. It's either going to be a smooth do nothing bank or it's going to be chunk rock, pebble rock, some type of rock bank is a good place to throw a net rig. Um, and like I said, I have started to, to experiment fishing with this bait vertical and I can tell you it definitely catches fish in that deeper depth zone as well. But 10 foot or shallower and very clear water is where I think you're going to have the most luck with your net rig. Now talking about the, the Neko rig, this bait has been around for quite some time now and it's a little bit mystified to a lot of guys but simply, basically what it is is nothing more than just a wacky rig but we put a nail weight in the head of the bait. And what that does is just let that bait, when it hits the bottom and you go to impart motion on it, you pull that bait in the center uh, or towards the, the center front of the bait and that lets that, especially with a Z-Man plastic, tail just undulates. So it just keeps the nose down and the tail just undulates. So you get that real defensive posture that, that's so attractive to bass out of your soft plastic. But it's also a great bait to use for suspended bass. So anytime I'm looking for fish, they're suspended around docks. They're not all the way on the bottom, but yet they're not up high where I can really see them, where I can see them real easily. This is when I'm going to use a Necro rig around the dock pilings, or I might use them around bridge pilings. I see fish that are suspended over the top of brush piles. That's when I like to use the Neko rig. You can fish this bait really deep, but it also thrives in that 10 foot or less zone as well because you can fish it on the bottom or you can fish it for suspended fish. So it makes the Neko rig very, very versatile bait to fish. I hate to really kind of lock it down to a water depth or um, a particular structure that it works best because it's so versatile in so many different ways to use it. But typically I'm just going to use a straight tail plastic uh, and I'm just going to put a 16th ounce or a 132nd ounce sinker in the front of it, nail weight in the front of it. And you cast that bait out and most of the time they're going to get it on the fall as it's cascading through a school of fish or as it's hovering over a piece of structure is when they're usually going to bite it. So that's what I look for when I want to use the Neko rig. You know, moving on to the drop shot, I, there's so many different ways to rig the drop shot and it's such a versatile bait I wouldn't discount the drop shot around any type of structure any water depth there's so many different ways to fish it in different water clarities clear water stained water or muddy water I would say that probably the the drop shot does thrive mostly in clear water 
Uh, typically, because you're going to use a straight tail plastic, a plastic that doesn't really move a whole lot of water, not a lot of water displacement there. Uh, but it's a bait that you can do so much with. Most of the time, you know, there's three ways, to, at least three popular ways to rig it. And I, I've got a video on my three favorite ways to, to rig that I'll leave in the, in the description box. But basically, you've got three six, I use a 3 16th or 8th ounce sinker, 12 to 16 8 inch liter. Uh, this is a number two owner mosquito hook and a straight tail uh, Z Man plastic worm here. And the whole beauty behind the drop shot is that lets your bait suspend off the bottom. Your weight is not attached to the actual plastic. There's a different sink rate. You can keep a little bit better contact on the bottom with it. And your bait is just going to be so much more lifelike and natural because it's totally suspended away from the weight. So it just has a lot more undulation. Doesn't take as much rod tip manipulation to get any action out of the, the bait. Different sink rate, you can throw that bait by a piece of structure and just sit there and shake it and that bait will stay right there in place. So that's one of the beauties. You can agitate a bass into biting the drop shot. But there's you know three basic ways to rig it. This is nose hooking. This is predominantly the way that you've probably heard about a drop shot. It's just a nose hook plastic. And this is the way I'm usually going to rig it when I'm fishing down deep, 50, 60 foot deep. At home, we fish a lot of man-made brush piles. We fish over timber lines a lot. And that's what I look for when I'm going to nose hook a drop shot. Now, <clears throat> if I'm going to be casting a drop shot, I'm typically going to use a Texas rig. And that's basically, I'm going to use a one-all owner straight shank hook. And I can cast that around dock pilings. I can cast it around isolated pieces of wood and structure going down the bank. Um, I can do a lot with a drop shot. There's just so many. I can flip a drop shot. I can cast it. There's just so many different ways. I can fish or suspend it fish with a drop shot. And there's so many different ways to get action out of your bait with a drop shot just by changing the, the weight of your bait, the, the weight of your, your uh, sinker. You can get a different fall rate, get a totally different action out of your drop shot. Uh, one of my favorite ways to fish a drop shot is wacky style and that's basically you take a just a, a soft straight tail plastic worm like that hook it in the middle and that just gives you so much more ability to keep that bait in place. I can sit there and just work it, shake the tip of my rod and that worm just sits there and undulates. It's a great way to keep a bait in a place for a really really long time. So in the springtime when fish are spawning or in the fall time when fish are really, really lethargic and they don't want to bite really good, that's a good time to use the wacky rig drop shot. So, uh, drop shot works in every part of the water column there is, from 100 foot to zero foot, from wood to grass, it doesn't matter. The drop shot catches them everywhere. So, that's a little bit about what I look for with three, these three finesse baits with the Ned rig, the Neko rig, and the drop shot. Those are three proven winners, and I promise you if you use these three baits, you can catch a lot of fish no matter where you live or what type of body of water you fish.